has held talks in Tehran, where he's pressed for the release of the British Iranian woman, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, who's been in prison there since April 2016. She's accused of working against the regime, which she denies. The Foreign Office said the discussions have been frank and constructive. Our diplomatic correspondent, James Robbins, reports. It could look routine. Good work. Good having you here, right? Boris Johnson and his Iranian counterpart, Mohammad Javad Zarif, shake hands on their way into talks. But there's nothing routine about this encounter. The Foreign Secretary looking uncharacteristically tense, and with good reason. He wants to improve relations, but also criticise some of Iran's actions while arguing for Iranian prison releases, including of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, a case many accuse him of damaging by loose talk last month. Watching anxiously with me in London, Nazanin's husband, Richard Ratcliffe, he has campaigned day in, day out for her freedom since Nazanin's arrest in April last year. I'm sure it'll make a difference. I'm sure him being there, I'm sure him raising her case, I'm sure him raising her case in the context of lots of other stuff can only help improve relations and can only help um, improve relations, can only lead to a better case for us. Um, I think that's right, that I'm not expecting that on Monday morning he comes back with, with her on the plane. Boris Johnson is saying nothing at all publicly while in Iran. Instead, the Foreign Office issued a statement after two hours of what they call a constructive meeting. They discussed the full range of bilateral issues and they both spoke frankly about the obstacles in the relationship, including the Foreign Secretary's concerns about the consular cases of British Iranian dual nationals. Both emphasised their commitment to continuing to work together to improve the bilateral relationship. One good sign, Iran's foreign minister confirmed Boris Johnson should be able to meet President Rouhani tomorrow. Yeah, he's reciprocating yeah. your hospitality. Something that's not automatic on a visit like this. The talks went on for two hours. Positives and negatives in relations were fully aired. We shouldn't expect immediate consequences, but Iran is in no doubt about British efforts to get Nazanin Zahari Ratcliffe home. This evening in London, Richard Ratcliffe and supporters have been gently keeping up the pressure to have the family reunited. He says he wasn't able to sleep last night and may not find rest tonight either, before the talking in Tehran resumes in the morning. James Robbins, BBC News. There's been a third day of protests by Palestinians in the